Hi all, my name is Sonny, I am System Staff Engineer at IBM, Pune. I am part of SAN Volume Controller Development Team. In this video, we are going to show, online data migration, to IBM SVC StoreWise, from my SCSI connected storage controllers. Data migration feature, for iSCSI connected storage controllers is introduced with 7.7.0 release. In 7.7.0 release following migrations are supported using iSCSI protocol. In 7.7.0 release IBM's SVC and StoreWise initiators support online data migration from Dell Equalogic Storage Controllers and IBM StoreWise Storage Controllers. First we will start with migrating data from Dell Controller to SVC StoreWise system. For this demo, we have a Windows 2000 server that has two LUNs allocated from Dell Equalogic Controller and one DH8 system to which we will migrate data to. This is our SVC DH8 model with two nodes, where we will perform data migration from Dell Equalogic Controller. And this is Dell Equalogic Controller, it is showing list of volumes. Today we are going to migrate two volumes test 1 and test 2 to SVC DH8 model. These volumes are currently mapped to Windows 2000 server. If you look at number of iSCSI connections, for both of the volumes it is showing 1, as it is right now connected to only Windows 2000 server. Now let's look at the Windows 2000 server. Here drives E and F are the volumes exposed by the Dell controller. Let's take a look at the usage of these drives. We select E drive. It has folders data and data 1. If we look at the usage chart, data is taking 78.63% of space and data 1 is taking 21.35% of space. Data integrity is important so we want to make sure. While data migration is in progress, or when data migration completes, data integrity should be maintained. Let's go back to Dell controller GUI. To perform migration firstly we will map test 1 and test 2 volumes to SVC DH8 model. We need IQN of SVC DH8 model. We go to network. Go to iSCSI tab. Copy the iSCSI name that is IQN of DH8 model. Now go to Dell controllers GUI. Select volume test 1. Properties of the volume test 1 is shown under different tabs. We go to access tab. It is currently mapped to Windows 2000 server. Add IQN of both nodes of SVC DH8 model in the access list. Now the volumes test 1 is mapped to Windows 2000 server and both nodes of SVC DH8 model. After mapping volumes test 1 and test 2 to SVC, we will do discovery and connection to Dell controller LUNs from SVC storewise. Dell discovery and connectivity needs to be done from CLI only, GUI is not enabled for Dell connectivity in 7.7.0 release. So let's access the SVC cluster using command line interface. To perform iSCSI storage controller discovery, use detect iSCSI storage port candidate CLI. In this command we need to specify Dell controllers group IP as target IP. In source port ID, we need to provide the source port index from ls port IP CLI output. 
you can list the discovered iSCSI target controllers using LSI SCSI Storage Port Candidate CLI. As we have mapped two volumes test 1 and test 2 to SVC DH8 nodes, detect disk size storage port candidate CLI is showing two entries, it also shows the source port index. Here status full means both nodes of SVC DH8 model were able to discover the Dell LUNs. Next task is to connect to those Dell LUNs. For that we have add iSCSI storage port CLI, which takes the row ID of LSI SCSI storage port candidate CLI output. With this CLI we are connecting to first LUN of Dell. To check the connection status of connection you can run LSI SCSI storage port CLI. In this case it is showing status as full, which means, both the nodes of SVC DH8 model were able to connect to Dell LUN. It also shows the controller ID, here controller ID is 2 for discovered Dell LUN. As we have added, iSCSI connection, to only one LUN, we will add, iSCSI connection, to second LUN as well. By giving row index as 1 in add iSCSI storage port CLI. Again, we can check the status of both iSCSI backend connections. Both LUNs are showing full connectivity. You can check newly discovered LUNs in LSM disk CLI output. Here M disk 1 and M disk 2 are from Dell controller. Both are 1 GB LUNs from controller 2. We can also check these disks using GUI. Go to pools. Go to external storage. You can see the controller 2 is Dell equal logic controller. We can give appropriate names to M disks, discovered from Dell controller, to avoid any confusion. Before we start the migration we will first unmap the Dell LUNs from Windows Server and remove the session between Windows 2000 Server and Dell Controller. So first let's go to Dell Controller's GUI. Select Volumes. Select Test 1 Volume. We will first migrate Test 1 Volume. So we will unmap Volume Test 1 only. Go to Access tab. Here the disk access is given to Windows host and both nodes of SVC DH8 model. We will remove the Windows 2000 server from LUNs access list. Now let's go to Windows 2000 server. iSCSI Initiator Properties window is showing that right now it is connected to both LUNs of Dell controller and it is not connected to any node of SVC DH8 model. We will first remove the connection between Dell and Windows corresponding to LUN test 1. We will then trigger login from Windows 2000 server to both nodes of SVC DH8 model.
Windows 2000 server, will not be able to access the LUN for very short duration of time, but once image mode disk gets created, and it is mapped to Windows host it can start accessing the LUNs. Now let's go back to SVCDH8 systems GUI to perform data migration. Now we are ready to perform online data migration. Go to pools. Go to system migration. The list is right now empty as no online data migration is active. Click on start new migration button. In the pop-up window select iSCSI, because the LUN we want to migrate, is from Dell Equal Logic Controller, which is connected through iSCSI. Read all the restrictions and requirements carefully and tick all the square boxes. Go to next. This list shows all the pre-work that are needed to be done before starting migration. Read this list carefully. Go to next if you have completed all the steps. Next pop-up window asks you to record all the host objects to which the volumes was mapped and what volumes are mapped. In our case cell volumes were previously mapped to Windows host, we need to map migrated volume to the same host. This window also asks to remove mapping between Windows host and Dell controller, that we have already done. Go to next in migration wizard window. It discovers for M disks that can be migrated. Both LUNs mapped from Dell are showing here. We will select first one as we have unmapped and removed the sessions for this Dell LUN. Go to Next. It shows in suggested tasks to map the image volume to host. Here we want to map it to Windows 2000 server. We can do this mapping here or we could choose to do it later. In host drop down list select windows host. Next windows shows the unmapped volumes that can be mapped to windows 2000 server. It shows one entry which is the image mode vdisk created from Dell LUN. We have mapped this image mode vdisk to host. Click on apply. Next window asks you to create a host object if it is not already configured. We have already created host object and mapped the volume, so in this step just select the host and go to next. Select the volume and go to next. Select the destination MDIST group to which we want to migrate data to. Before selecting MDIST group you must make sure that the destination MDIST group should have sufficient disk space. And the destination MDIST group has same extent size as the image mode VDISC. Here we already have one such MDIST group. If you don't have one then first create one MDIST group with enough space and same extent size. Then come back here. Go to Next. Click Finish. In System Migration window, Migration list now shows one entry. Progress tab shows the migration progress. Now we can start data migration for second LUN after performing similar actions that we did for Dell LUN 1. Here migration of Dell LUN 1 is completed. And migration of Dell LUN 2 is in progress. While this migration is in progress, host can still do I.O. Now let's go to Windows 2000 server and check host data integrity. 
E and F drives are the LUNs exposed from SVC DH8 model which were previously mapped from Dell controller. We can check the iSCSI connections from Windows host, it is connected to SVC DH8 model. And iSCSI connection to Dell controller is in inactive state. We can check the data usage graph, that we checked before starting, data migration. E drive has data and day to one folder. Data folder is taking 78% and day to one is taking 21% of overall usage. While data migration is still in progress, data integrity is maintained. And Windows host can perform IO. Now data migration of both Dell LUNs are complete. Now as migration is complete, let's go to volumes list. There are two image mode V disks, one for each Dell LUN. There are two copies of each V disk, one which is coming from Dell controller. Second migrated copy of data. Migrated copy of data is in the M disk storage group that we selected in migration wizard. We will delete V disk copy coming from Dell controller. Now both volumes have single copy from SVC disk group pool. The Windows 2000 server is accessing volumes from SVC from SVC M disk group pool. Now we will remove the ISCSI connection from SVC to DH8 model, as migration has already completed. For that go to pools. Go to external storage. Here controller 2 is Dell equal logic controller. It shows two M disks that were exposed from Dell controller. Select controller row, go to actions and select remove iSCSI connections. The pop-up window shows iSCSI backend connection list. Select both and go to actions select remove. Then click on finish. Now connections to Dell controller are closed.